what brings the call? You know, during these two hours, I've just been so enamored. It's been so funny. And I almost liken it to, like, post-apocalyptic <laughs> radio. I can imagine, like, in radio after the apocalypse will be just like this, where a guy just gets on there and starts choking and, and gagging and talking about life and having guests on who have no business being on there. I don't know. It's just been a very entertaining two hours. <laughs> you know, I've been doing this for close to 20 years, and no one, no one has ever described it as post-apocalyptic. That's... Uh... That's an extraordinary description. I have to sit with that because I'm not entirely sure. Oh, yes, I am. I wasn't entirely sure what about it would be post-apocalyptic, but I see it would be post-apocalyptic because at that point there's no need to try and make sense of anything anymore or to take on real issues or to talk about anything reasonably or rationally because it, it's kind of over. Pretty much. I don't know. Is there somebody grabbing a microphone and... Yeah. You know, ranting or being yeah. funny. No, that works for me. We're, we're going to use that in a promo. I have to take a break. I have to go. Thank you for that. You've given me a gift. Thanks, right. Bye-bye.